at the birth of Jesus Christ, the Magi came from Babylon. Remember that? They brought him the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, it says that they came from the east to Jerusalem. And they said, where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, and here it is, and we have come to worship him. This is awesome. Tonight, don't raise your hand. Believer, non-believer, who are you? You, if you're a human being, you were created to experience God, but you got to meet him first. You will never be complete in this life until you are a worshiper of God. That's why in this room tonight, there are people possibly who never quite felt connected with God because you know what? Worship is something that you'd rather ditch than attend because you have never seen him for who he is. It's amazing. Fundamental Christian life made anew is that we have come to worship Him. You have to. You say, Jack, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my dear friend, then you need to meet Jesus Christ. You say, wait a minute, come on, man. Are you crazy? I became a member of the, 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 some church, you know, and I, didn't I? When the elders interviewed me to become a member, didn't, you know? No. Think of Paul the Apostle. He was a Pharisee. From the tribe of Benjamin, circumcised the eighth day. Concerning the law, he was blameless. Zeal above all of his other contemporaries. He was as lost as the day was long. And Paul the Apostle was riding on a horse, heading to Damascus to kill Christians. And Jesus showed up in a heavenly manifestation there, appeared before Paul and he fell off his pony. And I love his words. Who is it, Lord? (laughs) Translation, Jesus, that's got to be you. What do you want me to do? Have you had that happen? You got to have it happen. It'll change your life forever. 